All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna take a little more look at our landscape material. We're gonna add some additional textures into it and make some, uh, we're gonna make some mud basically. And then we're gonna start uh, decorating up our little lake area. We're gonna fix it all up, uh, make it look nice and, uh, and add some uh, resource packs in from the uh, Unreal Marketplace. So uh, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. All right. When we, uh, when we set up our uh, material instance here, we created uh, a bunch of extra slots, which we really aren't using. We're using uh, layer one, layer two, and layer three. Uh, uh, these are, uh, this is our uh, 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 stuff while we're using layer four, too. It's the, got the basalt in it, but I think all the rest of them just have the basalt as default. So. We're going to add in a couple of new, uh, a couple of new textures here, and do some, uh, uh, create some materials for them as well. Um, or actually, we're going to add the textures into that and adjust those materials in an interesting way. So, what I have here is uh, this, and let me find it. This is the. Albedo and I put that in materials. I want to move it. <clears throat> oh, come on. Import. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Sometimes Unreal Engine can be a little bit slow. And I've got a fairly significant gaming machine uh, with a with a very good video card significant amount of memory but even then unreal seems to uh take a while at times i hope <laughs> this didn't hang uh, i'm gonna pause the video and i'll be right back <clears throat> okay we're back um it didn't crash thankfully so we have our uh, uh, two textures in here. Uh, this is a mud texture and it's normal map. So uh, hopefully we, we won't be compiling any shaders if this works right. <laughs> so the names of these are uh, uh, Suga 2K 8K Albedo. Uh, I really should rename those. You know what? I'm going to rename them right now to mud. I call it color. <laughs> Adding files to source control. Yeah, I do that, uh, and it's uh, it's very good because I've had crashes where I was able to recover because of source control. So we're going to change this one to mud underscore norm. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so the point of this is that this is going to give us two mud textures. One of them is going to be regular mud and the other one's going to be like wet looking mud. And we're going to use these with our lake here to give uh, a little bit of texture to it. And as soon as we're done with that, we're going to head over to the marketplace and download some packages. So <clears throat> let's go here to our material instance. Actually, let's just grab this. Well, let's go to the material instance. We'll put this in uh, <clears throat> these next two slots. I'm going to enable them. <clears throat> I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab the color. I'm going to hover over here. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to drop this into the L6 texture. Did it take it? What happened? <clears throat> Oh, L4, L5. I tried to drop it in the wrong place. It wasn't enabled. Okay, let's try to get this right. I want the L4 texture. All right, let's try this again. I should be able to drag this and drop it into the L4 texture. And I can. And I should be able to grab this 
and drop it into the L4 normal, and I can. And we'll do it again from here to the L5 texture. And one more time into the L5 normal. There we go. Then we're going to come down here to L5. So L4 we're going to leave alone. L5 roughness, we're going to reduce it a lot, down to about 0.3, I think. And we're going to save this. And now we've got L4 and L5 in here. And L5 looks a tiny bit shiny. So here's what L4 looks like. This is almost certainly going to want to compile shaders. Of course it is. I'll pause the video while it compiles shaders and I'll get these all compiled and we'll come back and take a look at them. Okay, we are back. And uh, now we've got our two, uh, two kinds of mud. Let's, uh, let's go over here somewhere where we can look at the kinds of mud that we have. Let me make this uh, a little smaller here. So here's our dry mud. That looks pretty cool. It's sticks and stuff in it. And here's our kind of wet mud. And it doesn't look terribly wet. So now's where we can make some adjustments to some things. Maybe I'm looking at it from the wrong. I mean, if I look at it from over here. Now it looks, uh, looks a little different than the... Uh, and the dry mud. Let's go to our here and take this L4 or L5 roughness up to or down to 0 0.15 maybe and save that. Oh, that's L4 on L5. And there we go. It's got a little bit of shine to it. Just looks a little bit damp, especially if the sun's glinting off of it just right. So, okay. So let's uh, let's clear this out, this mess. Put it back to the auto layer, and let's take a look at our lake now. There's a couple of things I've decided I want to do. First of all, I don't like this deep column of conical shape. So in here, in Sculpt, I'm going to go to Flatten. And I'm going to take this and flatten it. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to raise it. So let's go back to Sculpt. and get it up, mound it up like this. Then I'm gonna to go to flatten and I'm gonna come down at this level and I'm gonna flatten this out a little bit and give it kind of a flat bottom with kind of steep sides and that's okay. Now we're gonna go back to paint. <clears throat> I'm gonna go down here to our dry mud. We're down underwater so things don't actually look wet underwater. We're going to put a little bit of mud down here at the bottom, very bottom. Get it all over the bottom of this. Then, so we've got this, this grassy, ucky mud down there. Now, we're going to go to our rock, and I think I want the sides of this. And, of course, <laughs> we're going to be compiling shaders again. Okay. I'll pause the video and uh, be back when the shaders are done compiling. Okay, we're back. A few shaders are still compiling, but it looks not too bad. Um, we can uh, continue with uh, with placing our rock all down in the bottom. This is very deep, so I'm thinking the sides of this, up down in here at least, are, are very rocky. And uh, we got to go back to our, our mud and... Uh, get a little bit of mud in here 
Let's make sure that it's kind of muddy down on the bottom here. And, uh, and rocky up here. Now we're getting, uh, uh, it's a little bit hard to see. I have to rebuild the lighting again, but that's okay. We'll go back to our rock and put some more rock along here in this very steep areas so that this is kind of a rocky hole. So after we build the lighting, we'll be able to see that better. Now under here, I think I want to go back to mud and get some mud up in here. And, uh, yep, and along here, mud along here, up under here. Just uh, the very top of this thing, very muddy. Now we come out, and so we got mud getting around the edges. That's good. We want to do that up here. Put some mud around this. And we're uh, we're coming along. I'm going to rebuild the lighting on this so we get rid of all this uh, all this garbage. Let's work our way around the edge here with a little bit of mud at the edge of the water. We can go in and add a little detail of gravel here and there. That's probably going to cause us to shaders again. Yep. Okay. Shaders again. <laughs> I'll pause and uh, be right back. Okay, we are back, <clears throat> and I rebuilt the lighting uh, once the shaders were all compiled. And I went in and added a little gravel around in here. I might, uh, I might change that a little bit more and go back in here <clears throat> uh, to paint. And select our mud again. Make sure this brush is so relatively low. I just want to make this just a little more muddy, a little less gravelly. Uh, Why, why do you do this to me? <laughs> Sometimes it's a little difficult to paint on these things. I don't want too much mud. A little gravel showing through. Okay. And then what we can do is uh, make our brush much smaller, very small, and go over here to our wet mud and just write... Uh, <laughs> uh, I should have painted some wet mud on this earlier when I was compiling shaders. Maybe this won't take too long. <clears throat> so, uh, you know what? While that's compiling the shaders, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to just minimize this. <laughs> we're going to go here and bring up uh, the epic launcher and go take a look at the marketplace because we're going to want to add uh, some things to our project from the marketplace. So we'll just go over here to marketplace and let me be sure of what I want to search for here. That's right. Oh, come on. Marketplace. Come on. <laughs> There we go. We want to look up Infinity Blade. No content found. What? Marketplace. Did I spell it wrong? Infinity. Okay, so here's the Infinity Blade stuff. Oh, I did. I put didn't put a space in it. That's why it didn't come up. And what I'm mostly interested in, first of all, is grasslands. Uh, this is a completely free. Uh, these all these Infinity Blade uh, the stuff are are free. Uh, I've already actually downloaded it into my test project, so I already have add to project here. If uh, uh, if you haven't downloaded it yet, it'll say download it or purchase it or something, but it's zero, so it'll just immediately like check you out and you've got it. It'll download it and then you can add it to a project. So let's start by adding this one to our project. And I gotta make sure I get the right shooter game here. Let's type in 
shooter game. And this one is the right one. Oh, and it's even got our lake on it. So it's already in that one and that's a different project. So we'll just click on add to project and it shouldn't take too long. Hopefully it won't take too long. Looks like we're done compiling shaders so we can go put our mud in now so we've got our shiny mud and just oh I want a little stronger brush for one thing let's move it up to about there and let's go along here and what the heck all right let's crank it all the way up to one there we go some shiny mud right at the edge of the water just some damp mud it's just it's little it's always little details right little details make all the difference by adding I'm not sure why that uh, isn't painting very easily brush is too low there let's come along here and very soon here our infinity blade should be yeah it looks like it is installed so we can just go along here and put some shiny shiny mud in right at the water's edge where things are a little bit wet it's just the the water's right there so it's going to soak into the ground make this a little bit wet through here let's get all the way around here and now we can start decorating this up and make it look oops and make it look really nice some damp mud out here there we go all right so now we've got our uh, infinity blade let's double check that make sure it says it's actually done yeah it's done okay so if we go into here into environments into miscellaneous we have these two things so this has a whole bunch of like ruins and building stuff to build all kinds of cool things uh, what we're interested in right now though is <clears throat> nope not that one uh, earth what's earth oh yeah so here we've got a cherry tree and some ground cover more ground cover of different kinds so we can uh, we can start putting some of this stuff in here let me stick a cherry tree right next to our little lake maybe that's uh, oh come on render in save just in case all that painting I just did I want it saved I promise this is a good-looking cherry tree once it uh, there it is <laughs> and I'm not sure I like where that's located so oh, I I'm in the wrong mode here for one thing so let's uh, let's what the heck what I just move What was I moving? What did I have selected? You know what? I'm going to control Z back a few. Okay. Well, I don't see any harm done to anything. So maybe this cherry tree really belongs over well I think we might end up having a stream come in here so let's put the cherry tree over here just bring it down to the ground and 
and we could actually throw a few of them in there. Let's uh, let's go over here and play and see. I'm not sure if this, I'm wondering if this has collision on it. It does. It has collision. Okay, that's a good looking cherry tree. So we can uh, we can decorate like this. So maybe there's a few cherry trees uh, in here. Not bad. And we can rotate them a little bit so they're not all facing the same way. Let's rotate this one like this. Let's rotate this one like this. And then we can put in a little bit of ground cover. Now we can do this another way too. Um, what do we have here? <coughs> Piles. Rock cluster. Small tree. I don't know what kind of a tree that is. We'll see in a moment. Let's see what this uh, leafy thing is here. So another thing we can do is uh, we can go here to this foliage area and we can drag and drop foliage onto that. So let's look for, uh, not in there, let's go up to here and type in grass, landscape type, no. Just want to type in grass and small plains grass one. So we can just drop some foliage on there. Then we can, and it's already selected. And so we can just come around here and put some grass in. Tall grass of some kind. It's probably a bit dense. I think I'm going to remove that. And. I'm going to take a look here. So the brush size is a bit big for me. That's yeah, better. Paint density is 0.5. Let's move it down to 0 0.1 and see how that comes out. Let's put some grass around here. What is that? Yeah, it's sort of a leafy tall grass kind of cool looking and then there are also flowers in here and we've got a whole variety of kind of small plains flowers and we can toss that in there that in there that in there and that in there and now we don't want them we don't want this selected we got different kinds of flowers selected. Let's turn that off too. And let's see what these flowers look like. That's kind of cool looking. So we can toss some flowers around in here. Okay, we'll just speed this section up here a little bit. Okay, so what I'm doing here is just selecting some of the various elements in our package and scattering them around on the uh, on the scene, putting in some grass and bits and pieces of trees and limbs, and we can add more. And we oftentimes want to have layers of stuff, so we'll put more and more stuff into a particular area as time goes by and make it more interesting. Here it looks like I just swam down or swam into the lake for a moment to take a look around. Uh, but yeah, I'm just basically decorating up and you can decorate things however you want, put stuff in. Here I'm uh, building up a little kind of ruin with some of the stuff that's in there using the, uh, using the tools to flatten out an area to make a little more level uh, and sticking in an old, uh, some sort of old ruin. Uh, who knows what it is? I mean, we can incorporate it into the game in some way. Uh, making it look kind of tumbled down and broken throwing some grass over it and so forth just you know use your creativity and just uh just you know toss stuff around if you don't like the way it is move the things around uh it's uh it's all about just uh you know putting stuff down and figuring out what you want and looking at it and being critical and of course thinking about layers uh and details There's another one I want to look for. Let's see. Um, 
let's go back to the marketplace and search on interactive interactive foliage pack that's money interactive what did I type in inter where's my oh interactive spruce no nope. Hmm. Clear that. Spruce. Temperate vegetation spruce forest is free. Spruce trees, that's twenty four ninety five, so this one's free. <clears throat> Yeah, that's the one I have. Okay. It's just not called what it's called in the temperate vegetation spruce forest. That's what I wanted. So we'll add this. And we'll go. Here's our shooter game. We'll add to project. <clears throat> and now we can stick some spruce trees along through there. So decorating is uh, is a lot of fun and it's something you just take your time with and you just kind of build up layers. You want to add interesting things in and, and do stuff with it. Um, there's, uh, there's even more here in the marketplace that's interesting um, that we'll be pulling on to, to put in uh, uh, little villages and stuff but we'll make some of our own buildings too because i want buildings that you can walk into and a lot of these kinds of buildings that you get uh within the marketplace you you can't walk into them they're they're just hollow shells they look good they look nice from the outside but they're not uh they're not open to to walk into so uh let's look at our spruce forest um where would it be close this there it is blueprints of the showroom things meshes full high here we go uh, we gotta wait for that to process pulling it in the first time we'll pull one of each of them in so we get it these are the spruce trees I wanted to scatter around in here there we go and we'll stick a spruce tree over here. Uh, let's get into this mode. We'll do each of these slightly different spruces. And I think that'll be uh, that'll be it. And we'll uh, we'll continue decorating as we go. We'll make other little scenes. So what I like to do is uh, let's put this one back here, and we'll do one more. Uh, what I like to do is, you know, make little pockets of, of scenes within the larger landscape. And then uh, from there, we'll get these going to render in anytime soon. Uh, fill in in between. The in betweens can be broader sweeping things a little bit. You got to put roads in and pathways and 
other interesting stuff along the way. But if, if you fill in, if you do bits and pieces uh, in a region and then you can fill in in between, then you can keep growing that out and around it and maintain the detail. If you start with too big a sweeps, you end up having the whole landscape pretty much look the same everywhere you go. By doing it in small pieces and chunks, you can you can vary the detail and vary the interest in it and, and make the whole landscape look interesting. Um, this isn't as interesting as I would like it to be, but it's got more interest to it. I think it needs more layers. It's got a few... Uh, if they would render in, it's got some uh, spruce trees back here. <laughs> it will... Oh, it's compiling shaders. Of course it is. Save. Save selected. So... Those will those will come in shortly. We can uh, pop in a few more uh, a few more spruce trees. Are they popping in? One of them did. Uh, that's probably the first one we put in. That's a pretty good looking spruce tree. I like it. It looks like it's not all of its shaders are rendered. Its branches look a little bit weird. They're gray. So that'll that'll render in. What else do we have in this pack? Um, we got the half height ones, small ones, and then there's, uh, I believe one more. Oh yeah. So let's go back to, uh, back to the marketplace. And I think if we just type in ground. Round foliage. Oh, probably has to have a space in it. Just ground. And if we select ground, if we come down here and we select free, we'll probably find temperate vegetation ground foliage. That one's free. Tropical ground foliage, grass landscape materials, forest landscape materials. Uh, we might want to use those at some point in time. Interactive open world foliage. Let's take a look at that one. I'm not sure I've... Uh, yeah, I haven't gotten this one. Mm, yeah, it's got a different kind of grass to it. So, let's go ahead and grab this. And... Uh, yeah, in the next video, we'll, we'll continue. I'm going to find a, a nice pack for, uh, for setting up villages and stuff. And, uh, and also, we're going to work on roads. Uh, we're going to use uh, splines and so forth. So we're going to keep decorating for a little bit here. I want to get some ideas of what the game is going to be like. And then we're going to start working on the character again because we have to work on... Uh, uh, building up the stats for the character and damage and attacks and we also have to have NPCs we have to have at least animals or something to attack or monsters or whatever they may be so we'll go ahead and add this to the project while we're here It'll be this one add to project and uh, yeah, in the next video, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll maybe do a little more landscaping. Maybe we'll change up the grass a little bit in that area. And uh, I'll find a pack uh, that we can use to maybe stick a hut there. Maybe there's somebody that lives there. Maybe there's an NPC that lives by that little pond. Somebody that's important to interact with. Uh, we'll have something for our character. Who knows? You know, we can, uh, we can take it as it goes. So I'll see you in the next video. All right, that was uh, that was kind of interesting. So we uh, we got our uh, little mini landscape going. We put a little ruin in there, a little junk piles, and we've got some trees going on, different kinds of trees and grass uh, areas. So yeah, it's looking a little bit nice. Uh, we're gonna do something uh, a little bit more uh, in upcoming videos here, uh, and we're gonna build a village. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see uh, 
notifications when I upload videos, hit the notify button. Thanks.